campus. This is the Red West campus, Building D, as you can see there's um, up there, a sign that indicates what building. It's a huge loop out here on the Red West campus. And um, here we are at Red West D. We're on the east side. So what we have here is right here at this corner of the entrance, um, across the street from this parking garage, got a drain issue here. And um, I forget the name of the company that called us out here, but they're they're from Tom's Vistage Group. Anyways, um, they're a sweeping company, but they also do drain cleanouts and stuff, I think, occasionally. But this drain right here is full water. And from this drain right here, we believe it travels down and goes to this drain that's down here 38 feet. Okay. Um, we tried looking inside here. It's full of water, as you can see. And I uh, wasn't sure exactly which direction that pipe is going. But what we noticed over there on the other pipe is that uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't look like it runs straight from this catch basin to that catch basin. Um, some of the information that the customer got was that this catch basin, not, or not this catch basin, but that catch basin right there, they're saying that the drain, which is corrugated metal, and I'll show you that here in a little bit, but they're saying it runs about a foot inside of uh, this landscaping here from the curbing. So, so from there to there is 38 feet, and they're saying, the customer is saying that it potentially runs inside of that curb area, which means we would have to give a price to remove all the curb and gutter that's in here, the 38 feet of curb and gutter. We'd also have to remove this uh, ramp here, and we'd have to redo it all. We'd have to redo the curb and gutter from that catch basin to that catch basin, which is approximately 40 feet. And um, we'd have to dig up the line, if it's a straight line, we'd have to dig up six inches of dirt that goes through here. There's also irrigation inside this island here. There's irrigation over here. This has got to be the busiest area here, by the way. So, um, I'll pop that lid open and you'll see why it's a little confusing that they're saying that that line runs straight uh, from there to there. It, would maybe make sense at one point, but at another point, when I open that lid, you're gonna see that the corrugated metal kind of goes over here towards the crosswalk bars. Uh, maybe the, um, between the first and second crosswalk bar. Okay, so I was showing you where the clogged catch basin is up there. And then you move down to this one here, 38 feet around, and you'll see that there's some corrugated metal pipe that's down here. And that pipe, uh, you know what, maybe it does make a, a, an angle that direction. Now that I'm looking at it, it might, it might run right through here. But somewhere along the line here, it either, uh, let's see here, catch basin. Okay, catch basin is right there. This catch basin is right here. You got the corrugated metal in there. Maybe if it's at the right angle, then yeah, maybe it is a straight shot as I'm looking at it. They built up the concrete around this edge of it, and that one's farther in. So yeah, it probably does make a straight shot here now that I'm, now that I'm looking at it. I didn't think it did at first, but it actually does look like it makes a straight shot over to that catch basin. So... That means in order to tear this out, they're saying somewhere right around in that area there, it could be caused from tree root damage or, or uh, roots possibly, but it might be clogging up the pipe there. Maybe it's pinching it off or something. What they want us to do though, is they want us to tear out the line and replace it from this catch basin to there. So what does that mean? That means we're gonna have to rip out this curb and gutter, which is about 40 feet. We'll have to rip out that ramp there. I'm assuming we'll probably have to take out another panel 
right there because it'll be right within the, the shot here. We'll have to remove and reset this stop sign. The restoration of grass and sod and all that and shrubs, we do not have to do. They have a landscape company out here that will do the restoration for us. Okay, so I've shown you the inside straight shot line from here. I've gone up there to look at that catch basin. It looks like it's filling up a little bit, so it might be all backing up, all because of what's going on in between these two catch basins here. So you've got that corrugated metal that looks, I don't know, what is it, about 18 inches? I don't know how big that corrugated metal is because it's, it's down there quite a ways. It's about three to four feet down. And just so you know, there's also a pipe that runs this way back over towards the parking lot. It all travels down down to that area, which I think there's a catch basin in that corner inside the parking lot. You've also got one that's down there, but there was no line in here going in that direction. No, I don't think there was. Nope, just going that way. So <clears throat> we got the 40 feet here. We've got the post to replace, curb and gutter to replace this ramp. So you've got about a six by six ramp here and then a six by six or six, six by five concrete panel here that would need to get replaced. Uh, you can see it's not a broom finish. It, uh, it's not a broom finish. I'm gonna see if they've done any other replacements out here that uh, our broom finish, but it looks like an exposed aggregate, but not like you would typically see where they're at more aggregate showing. It's pretty, it's pretty light. So I'm standing on the other side of this ramp and over here where they redid some concrete over here, this is all broom finish. So I think we could do broom finish up there on that panel. We'll probably revisit this again, but we need to see what's going on underneath. Uh, with that pipe. I'm not sure if we have to do another type of study to try to see what's going to unclog that or if we give a price to just remove this area. But it's a 40 foot area. And I've already given the dimensions on the curb and gutter, the dimensions on this ramp. Um, looks like that's six inches on the curb here. It's probably five inches on the panel here on the side. Okay, I just dug on that uh, bottom there and it's four inches. So that panel right there would be four inches. Then you have this ramp um, stamped here on the end um, for traction. Okay. Uh, I'll have to figure out the restoration here, but you've got 40 feet of asphalt restoration that we'd probably have to do going around here. Uh, we'll probably have a little bit of stop bar to replace, which we can use torch down. And we can use torch down right here on part of this crosswalk piece. So we'll probably have about five feet of 12 inch crosswalk there to do. We'll have 10 feet, or excuse me, uh, four feet of 12 inch torch down crosswalk to do, or uh, stop bar to do there. Okay, so standing back here, just to give you an idea what's going on from this angle. It's from this catch basin, straight shot over just to the left of that stop sign. That would be our shot right here. And just uh, to recap there, we wouldn't have to do any of the uh, landscape restoration, but there is irrigation. So we got to make sure we're careful about that. Uh, the landscape company will probably end up doing the, the um, irrigation on this. So we're going to keep that out but we might have to cap it, cap it on both both ends there, okay? Um, and for now, I think that's it. On this asphalt, I'll probably do four inches of asphalt on that restoration. So we remove it, let's assume four inches, and then putting back four inches of asphalt. Now these are type one catch basins, I believe. And that's all I know right now.